Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. Today, we're going to talk about a 1955 Chevy Bel Air convertible resto mod. Tell you all the details in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, the home to close to 100 classic and collectible cars ranging all the way from the early 20s all the way up into the muscle cars and beyond. We have a little bit of everything here at Ellingson's. Take a look at our website at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com for our latest arrivals and newest cars. And you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish. We're going to do a startup, a nice walk around, gives you a lot more of the details of the car than just the solid pictures that are on our website. So you got a nice video of the whole car. It's really a nice thing to see. And talk about one of those beautiful cars, a 1955 Chevy, the first year of the small block Chevys, of course, for Chevrolet, the 12 volt systems for 55. And this particular one, obviously slightly upgraded from what it came with in 1955. It has a 350 crate motor with all the nice amenities, including power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, you name it, this car has it done. This is a really, really well restored resto mod. Speaking of resto mods, I mean, these are very typical of the, what people put on their cars in the 60s and whatever, the uh, old American racing aluminum rims or whatever with the black wall tires. Just something that just really is period, gets people to bring back their youth, if you will. The other thing about this car, the paint is absolutely stellar. I mean, this color combination was something that was available in 1955, but just the quality of this stuff, and you know, it's all base coat, clear coat compared to the old lacquer, much more likely to last a long, long time. But look at how nice the chrome is on this car. Love the 50s grill, the front bumper guards, and of course, the wonderful hood ornaments that are always typical of the Chevrolets of the Tri-5 era. That is just really cool. Uh, take a look at the inside. It's got, you know, besides, like I said, it has that, you know, nice performance 350 in it. It also has a four speed mounted on the floor transmission. So this is really one of those fun cars to get in and go cruising, just cruise down the road, but you can go through the gears if you are so inclined. And the other thing I really like about this car is they have not done anything to change the dash. I mean, that's the way the dash is supposed to be all the original type radio in it. It's got original clock, original instruments, but it has a nice vintage uh, tachometer in it. The old style chrome one says RP and I like, I just think that's cool. The other really interesting thing that, I mean, if you're not really noticing it, we know a lot of these cars in 1955 didn't have power steering. Well, uh, some of these cars also had the, you know, their steering wheel was really big. This particular car, they have put in the aftermarket smaller diameter steering wheel gives it a more subtle look and gives <clears throat> some of us a little more room here where we need it when we get in the car. But you know, the interior is as it would have been in 1955. I love the Bel Air and the speaker grill above the clock. That's just really neat. Nice dual mirrors, dual exhaust, of course, on this and all the Bel Air trim with the gold to signify that this car was a V8 car when it first started. Uh, you can find all our cars on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe. You'll find something there, I'm sure, that you'll find interesting and good stories of cars we currently have and cars we've had in the past. So if you want to have some time on the internet, take a look at that stuff as well. But yeah, it's just one of those cars that just is really, really well done. You can get in this car, drive it to wherever you want to go. <clears throat> Someone's done all the work for you. I guess that's kind of the way the world is going today. Try to find the nicest car you can in the price budget that you have, understanding that in order to build a car like this, you would spend much more than what they're for sale for. Trust me, it's happened to most of us out there over the time, and we've uh, all experienced that. So if you're looking for a really nice one like this, come on down. We'll even have you come in. We're open for the public now from Monday through Friday from 10 until 5, and even on Saturdays, 10 to 4. Love to have you come down, take a look at this car. We have, and this again being a resto mod, we also have several stockers as well. So if you're inclined to say, no, I'd rather have a 265 V8 or whatever, just the way it came from the factory, we probably have one of those for you as well. So 
Thank you for visiting today. Take a look, like I say, watch the entire video. I'm sure there's going to be some neat stuff, and it really has a nice look to it. So we'll see you next time.